YouTube and any platform is just this tiny little window into your life, but people think it's the full picture. The internet is a weird place. Whatever you can do to keep yourself safe is totally worth it. As YouTubers, we share a lot of ourselves and our lives, but we should be in control of what we want to share. In the beginning of sharing my life via the internet, I really let the comments get to me. You're putting yourself on the internet. You're, you're vulnerable and you're opening yourself up to criticism from people you'll never meet. I think that there's nothing that will kill the spark of a new creator faster than trolls. If it's gonna upset this safe community that I've worked hard to build, I need to monitor that. As negative comments came through, we have a great community manager. It's completely volunteer, she's just amazing. And every time there's a problematic word that comes up, she's like, add it to the blacklist, add it to the blacklist. Negative comments are negative comments and you can't please everyone because that's exhausting and you kind of just let it go and just move on with your day. I think it kind of comes with the territory when I'm sharing so much of my personal life that people think they know me more than they do and that we're already friends and it really blurs the line. I had to learn and I had to accept at some point that I am responsible to my community but I'm not responsible for them. I love to connect with my fans and I love to stay interacting with them but I can't be in direct connection with you all day, every day. There are certain things I'm gonna share with you, and there are certain things I'm gonna keep for myself and for my own sanity and for my family's safety and health. We are sort of open books on our channel. There's also certain things that we, you know, don't show them and that, that are just for us. It is really important to like still have a normal life without a camera in your face all the time. There are people who will try to find information out about you. So you can't be surprised when someone comes up to you and kind of like regurgitates everything that just happened to you for the past five years, because you showed it to them. And he's like, oh, hey, oh, hey, Gutex. I just found your info. So I just, you know, wanted to see if you were here. Do you, do you want to play some games? You definitely don't want people showing up to where you live. Definitely trying to only have organized meetups is what I stick to, just keeping it safer, keeping it easier. Lock down your information, make sure your Facebook is set to private, make sure that uh, that if you have a domain name that that's set to, to private. I don't show where I live, the outside of where I live. Don't show people my license plate, don't show people like any, any documents. If I'm doing Instagram pictures, um, I'll make sure that I don't take any photos within a couple of streets of where my house is. If you want to share about a restaurant you're at, save it. Share it later in the day. You don't need to share everything in real time. Have a friend who's good at cyber stalking, like pretend that they're gonna go on a date with you and like try to find everything they can out about you. Everyone doesn't need to know everything about what I'm doing. Developing boundaries with your audience and just saying, I don't feel comfortable, or I don't feel safe with this. You have to stand up for yourselves. It's hard though, it's really hard, because you care, you care about them and you, you want the best for everybody. Um, but you gotta take care of yourself too.